People keep asking me what I'll do next, but I don't really know. Time to ask for help. Hi, Hi Jessica. Jessica. In this day and age, everything is changing so fast. What if what we learn in school is outdated? As a tech startup founder, the main statistic is that 90% of tech startups fail, right? It could be we're trying to go to market too soon or it's too late. And because the technology changes so quickly. For me personally, I see the role of any educational system is to really teach the A, B, C to Z of what we think the industry or the economy needs. And of course, that A to Z will keep changing as the world changes. So not too long ago, we could only look at people's brain activities when they're lying flat in a scanner. But now, with advanced neuroimaging technologies, like portable neuroimaging caps, we can even look at yours and my brain activity as we converse with each other. So really, we have to remain proactive and continue to learn and adapt to the changing times. Having worked with youth for coming a decade, I would think that holding true to the values that you really believe in will really help you navigate through all these uncertainties in life. Values will really tide you through the ways of change. What would you say to 15-year-olds like me who are unsure about our future? My advice to you would be to ask yourself what your definition of success is. What do you find to be meaningful? Change is the only constant, so you have to see challenges as ways to build confidence and resilience. As a parent of young children, I have to remind myself about this as well. I think being comfortable with learning from playing is important. We need to really embrace this spirit of just tinkering around with tools. It might break, uh, we might not understand it, we might not know how to put it back together again, uh, but it's important that we, we try. You guys, are the future change makers. So if not you, who? If not now, when? Go for it. And really make the most out of your time in school. When I was in secondary school, my teachers nudged me to join the Young Change Makers project, but it came with a lot of challenges. Luckily, my teachers were there. They provide space for me to fail, to try again, and at the end of the year, we managed to raise $15,000 for Breast Cancer Foundation. And so really what I learned from that particular experience was that when we try new things, sometimes we will fail. And that is something I take with me, even until today in my current job. Research on a global scale is fast-paced and competitive. Although you think that you're working on something novel today, someone else from another part of the world might be on it first. And so you have to anticipate these kind of challenges. When I was in Thomasic Union College, I had a very good principal. I didn't really enjoy what I was doing. Uh, but she knew I had a passion in journalism, especially Chinese news broadcasting. Back then, I think she knew that there was a new course in Nian Poly called Chinese Media Studies. And then, well, the dots connected. And eventually, she referred me. And I think that three years was amazing. One of the uh, inspirational figures was my secondary school biology teacher, Madam Ashkin. She would bring a, a cow's heart from the wet market and make us dissect it just to teach us the, the four chambers of the heart. So even today, when I have to uh, you know, apply myself to learning something new, I, I really take a hands-on approach. And I think having this constant interplay of theory and practice in the context of what we want to learn uh, is very powerful. One last question. What made you who you are today? I am the culmination of the support from my loved ones and my teachers and of the obstacles that I've managed to overcome along the way. So it all started when I was in JC. Uh, I had a close friend who was struggling with a mental condition called depression. And because of that, he actually dropped out of school. That really prompted me to think of, you know, is life and success more than materialistic stuff? I changed quite a lot of uh, different paths in my education and career choices. 
I'm just very thankful that in every stage of my educational journey, I had very good mentors and role models. They really believed in me when I, I couldn't see my potential, but they saw something that I couldn't see. We seldom have all the information we need to make certain decisions. And we have to be comfortable with working in a volatile, highly ambiguous world. Ultimately, we are working on educated guesses. So don't worry too much about making the right choice. Think about making the choice right.